Sisters, take a little time to really look at one another, then ask yourself, can we really afford to lose one another? We must understand that we are all we got. We're forgetting our past, blinded by crap and gun smoke. smoke. We must turn that mess around and make, make the, the other, other man, man choke. What? Man, you can't believe this shit's over 20 years old. Well, I guess you can. Down, down in flames, light the Hindenburg one day I opened my ears You wouldn't believe what I heard They say your word ain't s See you promise us great things but only giving us a little, little bit. bit I keep your star and strike hat as a souvenir The uncle is dead but I'm not even gonna oh, shed a tear kid. See right now you're the big fish But I'm the genie in the land and then you gets no wish You will get everything you out three. But I'm taking one plus the two that you owe me. Oh, me it's so hard to feel proud. While I said a tear, you're still talking loud. I'll never get on a boat with the man. Because it reminds me of that great master plan. Oh, I haven't forgotten the last cruise we took. We, we ended up picking, picking cotton. cotton. You tried to play me out like a sucker. But I survived, survived to, to take, take back what's mine, your mother. So repay your debt to us. Mama so light, cause all the nuts that you busted You violated our blood and plagued us with acne So who's the real savage race? Please tell me What race is really your mind state? So the mess you bumped up is the mess you're gonna have to face See why I'm so upset? Because you brainwashed my people Talking up the side of your neck So I just sit back and light up a stand so To deal with the pains and the rage and the ghetto Tomorrow's gonna bring our heads up with these false hopes and dark, dark dreams. dreams. The rage in the ghetto, it drives me to chaos. Brothers took their mess and get tossed. You got your See, deep down inside, I wanna change, but it's hard as hell. Remove these chairs, chains on my brain. You got me thinking that I'm less than I really am. Put up a 10 foot pole and an impale sand. The rage in my mind, it keeps me from crying. But inside, I'm slowly dying. Because I don't know who, who I, I am. am. So, so I pick up a knife and become his, his biggest, biggest fan. fan. Come on, pattern myself to be just, just like, like Jack. Jack. I can have a big Cadillac. Swing and crack. crack. Invest seriously. Uh -huh. Huh. And then I start rolling hard. And, and the, the rest, rest is history. We're very insecure. Got a few keys. And, and rolling G's. 
nobody can be trusted. I sit with a shotgun and then my jock strap a small gap because I'm so damn scared. Walk the streets alone at night, I wouldn't dare. Will I make it to 21? I'm only 19. My life has just begun. I got snatched up by the feds. I was slapped around, then assigned the concrete bed. And now I'm behind bars. Yesterday was the last day I would see stars. And now I'm feeling sorry, cause everything I ever did is coming back to haunt me. I'm crouched in a corner, hugging my knees. I'll be 37 by the time that I'm free. Hmm, I got enough bed sheet. I'll make me a nice little noose and I'm out. Oh, what hell of a future? I fell into the head of the plan and now it's so The rage inside is still alive And will survive until I die And if that's tomorrow, you see, I went alone My heart was filled with sorrow It's a shame though, but it's all because Of the rage in the death All right, y'all, I'm joined in the studio today by Miss Gina G. Can you see yourself, Gina G? We about to get it started. We about to get it popped off. I wanted to make sure I hit everything that I could hit. Little shout out huh, to the underground. Took me in and gave me some knowledge. I'm going to make sure I hit everything I can hit. And now I'm ready. Let y'all know on G.I.B. Journey. Go get it. up with the devil. <laughs> oh, we lied. I she moved. Going down. Stop playing. Brothers in black. Is this you? Where? Stepping on. Nah, that's that's your uncle Ash. Maybe one, maybe once. Maybe more than once. You know what? He was real little. I took y'all over his house and clean. Went to the bathroom. Took his clippers and shaved oh, his head. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then put it back. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, so I acted like. No, what you talking about? I mean, what you talking about? You got a ball head. You got a ball head. You got a ball head. Ooh, I your name. Cross my heart, cause it belongs to your baby. Baby, I know I'm not ashamed to tell the world that you're my baby. When day comes and the night falls, I know you'll be with me, baby. Right there when I call, did feel so good. We about to get it started. Water. Uh-huh. Simply, Simply pour, pour some, some water. water. 
drink, 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 drink. Drink or should I say, live, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just, Just move, move your, your body. body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your or should water. I say, move, move, move then drink. Move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Raise your glass, raise your glass. Drink, drink, drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise, Raise your, your glass, glass and toast, toast your ancestors. ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink, move. drink half your weight in ounces. Eat, eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Toast your ancestors. Drink it up. Come on. Drink it. 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 Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Man, family, 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 it is so good to be here with you and to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, in the home of the stubborn minority, in the place. Where your hustle builds muscle. This is GMA Journey Media. I am your host, brother Hot Tim, and you are Gina Brown. Supposed to be Miss GG, and we are, of course, letting you know that this is a Heart of a Simple production all day, air day. And we want to give all of the Nia babies a round of applause because y'all definitely deserve it. Give it up for them. Come on. Up for. Come on now, I can't hear you, that's whack. There we go, that's a little bit better, that's a little bit better. Come on, give it up for him. Oh man, and you know, you know, you know, we strive, strive, strive. To blow up your old paradise. Man, oh man, it is so good to be with you on this near, on this snow day. Another snow day, that's why we late. Run out of time laying around. I finished the book. Hold on. I wanted to do something today. I am going to go and I am going to go to my, yep, I'm going to stream on my, uh, we're going to drink stream on our Telegram as well. I don't know why you keep doing, you know, I don't like all that, all that funny movement stuff y'all be doing nowadays. You better get your life together, little girl. I can see you. I can see you. I don't. I can see what's going on behind my back. I got eyes behind my back. But 
I'm just streaming right now on the Telegram to get Telegram people over to, you know, y'all come to gnj.media or you can follow us on our Spreaker. You got the link right above you. Or you can just kind of listen in here if you don't mind. We got this mic working over here and we got the Telegram. We move it, throwing it out to the Telegram, I'm trying to just do our thing, Gina G. But anyway, family, I want to thank y'all for joining us today on this great, great near right now uh what i want to do is to uh let you know that the rant for the day is now i want y'all listen to this one very carefully how to move with purpose or how to move with near and conquer any goal see a lot of us get stuck a lot of us are in neutral right and i'm trying to push us out right because I can't have my success if you don't have some success. If you don't have your success. I can't have my success if... See, Gina's in a different generation. I got to push my generation so we can move stuff up out of her way. Up out of my other kids way. I got, I got, I got children. 40 years old and down. 42 and down. That's just... Might be older than that. But anyway, I got, you know, I got young people that we have to... We, my generation has to push. Right, we have to push and we have to do our thing, right? And many of us have been conquered rather than being willing to conquer. Many of us have not even thought about conquering anything but these goddamn streets. You know what I'm saying? And there's no conquering the streets. None. You know what I'm saying? Because you always have to fall. The streets, you know what I'm saying? The streets don't love nobody. I mean, well, actually, there ain't nothing out here really that love you, but you understand what I'm saying. The streets. The streets allow us to take advantage of each other rather than learning how to go out here into the wide, wide world and take advantage of strangers. <laughs> All right, so now, um, so we're going to talk about that. Now, Gina is going to sit here and look pretty, I guess. I don't know. You got something you want to share on this great Nia day, Gina? Nope. Nope? You got to say it louder than that. Nope, you just wanted to be on. I got you. All right, so let's give Gina a round of applause, family. Come on. Give it up for Miss Gina G, right? But she can read the proverb for us today. She can read the proverb, and she can read the um, the folk tale for us. But before we get into all that, um, um, once again, I want to go back to what we're talking about today. Remember, today is near. So we're looking at being able to conquer. Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? How... To conquer, how to move with purpose, how to move with Nia, and conquer any goal. And I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you to that. But you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to to get the proverb of the day. So we gonna go and get that proverb of the day, real quick, and then we are gonna go and we're gonna move into. Um, let me see. All right. Ooh, okay, cool. I got one for I got I got a proverb for the day. I'm gonna highlight it so Miss GG can read it for us. But we're gonna go and we're gonna cover the news first. Because we got a little bit of news, because we we got a little bit of free time here. See, um you know the what's crazy is that you know that um and the ancestors have been very kind to us in in, in twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. I well for you know, because I know some of us have had losses from COVID, and I want to, you know, um, I want to acknowledge that. But also, I, I want to, I want those of us who have survived to realize the blessing of time, the idea of time that's been given to us where we could sit back and we can consider some things. And with me being able to do the stuff that I've been doing a little bit more with this COVID thing, you know what I'm saying? And sit back and really work on my skills. You know what I'm saying? It has given me the time to really hone in on my skills. And, but then you know, I had to focus on my health too. And, and, you know, and really, it really pointed out to us that many of us were not really as healthy as we thought. Right? We got, we got, our microbiomes are totally messed up. But we're going to go into the news first. Gina, um, you're going to help me with this news piece, okay? Can you do that? Mm-hmm. All right, can you see? Do I need to move my glass so you can see? Mm -hmm. All right, let me move. I'm putting my glass over here. 
All right, those on Telegram, y'all come on over to our Spreaker. Or you come over to gnj.media. Come over to gnj.media. Come over to gnj.media so that we can go on and have this. Because we might be able to have a conversation. Some of y'all that might want to have a conversation. You know, I know I might be able to pull you up. I don't know how that would work. Uh, but we still got our, we still got the black line. So you, if you go to gnj.media or you go to um, the speaker station and, and throw up a comment saying, hey, brother, Tim, try, open up the lines. We'll open up, we'll open up the lines. So what we're going to do first, let me go on over here to, yeah, we're going to go to there right there. We're going to go to the news scene and we're going to do a quick transition. We're busting out. We're busting out on the fuck. Busting out, we're busting out on some serious fuck. Busting out, there you go. We out, all right, cool. We busted out, you know. All right, so um, for the news, you can get some writing prompts. But those of you who are on the Guza Saba Challenge, be sure. You know what I'm saying? If you don't go to um, Amazon.com, you go to Nguza Saba Challenge. Dot GNJ. Dot Media. Dot media. We got Nguza Saba Challenge. Dot GNJ. Dot media. That's right. Show them Gina G. Now I should have your pretty self be modeling with the hardback because we got the hardback and I got some new copies coming up because this is this is the old original. So now we done move to the newer one so that you got a little bit more room to go and keep your notes in. Today we are on the date is two four. 22-6, right? So now when Gina gives the proverb, we'll be able to do the proverb. And when she read the uh, folk tale for us, we'll be able to go and keep the, the do the folk tale. These are writing prompts. Now, if you don't need the writing prompts, you go and keep track of what you need to keep track of. But if you do need the writing prompts, Miss Gina G is going to provide us with the writing prompts. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go through the news right now. As you see, stuff is still kind of um, still... Um, we still got, we still able to allow people, we still allowed to stream. I don't know how, but it, you know what I'm saying? We have been blessed and allowed to still stream. It is blowing my mind, right? It's blowing my mind. And I am, I'm, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. But anyway, um, if you miss Ujima Toast, how do we practice Ujima? Without addressing our lack of cooperation, I give you some methods where we could do that in there. You go and check that out. Family, listen, we're using our principles to build. Don't you yawn, I slap. Don't you do it. Don't you yawn on my show. I do the yawn in here. Don't you do it. I could see everything. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> anyway, family. So now, um, how do we practice Ujima without addressing a lack or lack of cooperation? Family, you need to go back and check out these shows because I'm trying to tell you because the shows then eventually are going to disappear, and then what will be left will be the 21 week training. Some of y'all could go through the 20 week 21 week training for free right now. I ain't playing. I'm not playing. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to help you. So, you know, you see, we got the little pretty stuff up. You see all this. Hold on. Now, I know I got, this is, this got to be an old, this got to be old. So, I'm going to update it because it got all the yesterday stuff. So, it's going to update it because I know I'm to post some news. All right. Now, this right here, here's a quiz for those old school Giami people. Who is this beast here? You know what I'm saying? Don't you say a word. You those people who are old school Giame know who he is. Remember this Giame House member. You know what I'm saying? I just he popped up. I wanted to make sure that y'all see who is he. You know what I'm saying? Today's near toast. I want y'all to go on and check out the little graphics we do. Now, whether Gina know it or not, she know how to do this because I've been showing them how to do this. But here we go. How to move with purpose and conquer any goal. Are you ready? I don't think y'all ready. I don't think some people are ready. Y'all scared. What you think, Gina? Now, I want y'all to think about this. You know, I mean, it's, we're moving into Black History Month. We got 
63,000 people reached in the last 28 days. That's up 385% for us. Post engagements, we have 4,695. We want to thank every last one of you. Um, that's up 253%. Page likes, that we got 48 new page likes. That's 1,500% up family we want to thank y'all we're gonna give y'all a round of applause man listen y'all doing it you know what i mean because like i said we we're trying to advertise our goods we we're advertising the um two black line on our merch you go to merch.gnj. Ah! what you doing what you doing i was eating right here we got merch.gng.media you know what i'm saying we got our merch you know what I'm saying? So um, you can go on, check a merch.gnj.media. You go and get our merch. Um, we got the Two Black line. We got the Daddy Toaster line. We got the Dayborn line. And we got the Kwanzaa 365 line. Um, uh, uh, boom, boom, boom. There you go. You catch it on the, uh, you, well, we live. You know, if you on, if you just have, well, if you're not in on this, you can't know, but. You know, y'all can let people know. But here go the commercial. I want to go and play. We're going to play this commercial so that people can see it. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all ready? I want the full screen. I want a full screen. No. We want a full screen. There we go. Let's start it over. Best book for self development, Kusaba Unleashed. Simple journey for all those who listen. Too bad. Man, come on now. Available on Amazon, Kusaba Challenge.gnj.media. There you go, there you go. I like it. You got it on Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, I got all my books on Amazon. See, my kids don't know how many books I got. Then you know, I'm just, I'm just dad and shit, you know. But anyway, so we're gonna go and we're gonna look at some of the news. Here we go, right here. You ready for the news briefs? Briefs in briefs. I call it that because when I was looking at it, I was in my briefs. I was in my drawers. So I look at the news in my drawers and I share. You know, they be having briefs. So I'm gonna send y'all to show y'all the briefs, the quick things that y'all can look at on here. We got our, um, you know, we got our, we pay for our, uh, what is it, subscription. Friday briefing, alleged Russian plot, Olympic opening ceremonies, healthier school lunches, super emitters, and more. Now, I want you, I want y'all to think about this. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. All right, Gina, can you read that one for them, please? Which one? This one. one. Number one. Number one. The U.S. Accused. Accused Russia of planning a fake attack by U Ukraine. 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 Now we got the U.S. accused Russia of planning a fake attack by Ukraine. You're going to find that in the Washington Post. We have our um, subscription. You're going to look at it. You might be able to get the um, get the, get article free. Russia would um, then use graphic videos of attack as justification invade. U.S. officials said yesterday, although they didn't provide evidence. How we got here. Russia has over 100,000 100, troops on Ukraine's border. And so far, efforts to defuse the situation have made no progress. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met in Beijing. Now, what are they meeting about? Family, let's be very clear. I'm not the smartest man in the world. But I do know that Russia won't Ukraine. And what do China want? I'm sorry, yeah, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's me. Russia wants Ukraine, and China wants that's right, Taiwan. Now check this out. So, and oh, I forgot to add. And what do North Korea want? Now, at the same time that any one of these makes a move on one of these things, America has to make a choice. On what is to our strategic advantage? Is Taiwan more of a strategic point for us? 
or is Ukraine, which is in Europe or West Asia, a more strategic point for us? Or South Korea. We can't defend all three. Russia has 100,000 troops. 100,000. We talking about sending 8,000 troops. Come on now. Let's think about this shit. China, right? We going how we going China won Taiwan. How we going to stop that? If we dealing with Ukraine. So we got to make we going this we're going to have to America is going to have to make some critical choices very very soon. Very very soon. Ah! Don't you, ah, 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 ah. Don't you do it. Go ahead, read number two. The U.S. spent months planning a a raid that killed the leader of ISIS. ISIS. You know, but it's it's is right. The U.S. spent months planning the raid that killed the leader of ISIS. They killed one another leader of ISIS. I think they might have got his whole family. Letting you know, America will take your family out. Go ahead, right here. Come on, this one. You'll like that one. A major winter storm will continue moving east today. Ah, major winter winter storm. We we was outside shoveling the snow. That's one of the reasons Brother Hot Tim is late. We was out there. You know, I was forced to go out there. Y'all know Brother Hot Tim ain't trying to shovel no goddamn snow. You know what I'm saying? I have trained myself that if I'm shoveling snow, I'm getting paid. That's how I used. That was my hustle. Right now, at this. At, 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 if, at the age that well no at the age Cleveland is right now I was more into football so I didn't have to worry about money like that um uh, yeah maybe yeah because I was 16 um no no at 16 I didn't have to worry about it but uh between 10 and 15 yeah I was out here getting that money going around doing that doing that shoveling winter major winter storm and this snow it feels different, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I literally was walking on top of the snow. I walked out and I came into my mom. I, you know, because we've been around this our whole lives and shit. I'm like, this this ain't no regular type of snow shit. You know what I'm saying? I, and I mean, I was walking. Beijing Olympics kick off with the opening ceremonies this morning. So now, at the same time that the Olympics are going on, we got Russia about to invade Ukraine. We got uh, China threatening Taiwan. I, I'm i just interested in the direction this is going. I'm sorry. I should let Gina read that. Come on, Gina. Here go another one for you. Schools will have stricter, strict, stricter, um, nutrition, nutrition rules this fall. All right. The details. They must serve milk with less fat. All right. First off, I'm just, I I, that's what, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, she do drink milk, but, you know, I personally don't like milk. But, you know, like I said, I'm not into, I came to my lifestyle by my choices and by my experiences. I got to allow my children to have theirs. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, and I know some of y'all disagree with that, but that's your business. Stay up out of my face with your shit. I don't mind, but just stay up out of my face, right? You're allowed to make your choices. I'm allowed to make mine. I respect you. Among other things, and mostly whole grains today's so they're gonna get whole grains and less fat milk i would be like if i'm drinking milk i would like to have the fat content higher but that's me um this is basically a return to standard set in 2012 guidelines have relaxed during the trump administration and the pandemic <laughs> so trump allowed them to drop all that you know they, they trying to blame everything they can on trump will this make a difference huh go ahead yes students diets got much healthier with these rules a government study found all right they died got more much healthier but did they see when when you start taking out time for children to run time for children to play and you increase the amount of time that children have to sit still right you are stopping some natural processes i'm i i personally remember having about 45 minutes to an hour recess right and um that was me now these kids they might get 20 minutes you know what i'm saying what you think about recess well you you think it recess is important yes you think it's long enough 
No. Right. All right. They don't get enough sunlight. They don't get enough air. They are in these boxes all day, forced to sit down in these seats when little human beings are designed to crawl, to run, to jump, to climb, and even to fight. I know some of y'all even like hearing it, but that's what they are, you know, they are supposed to be learning these things. And our education system does not cater to the physical aspects. It caters towards the mental aspects of the uh, of our being, not the physical. And it needs to have uh, constructed physical activities that can be popping off. I'm telling you, I'm listen, I'm listening. It it would it would I believe it would I personally believe it will increase the intelligence of our children if they were able to start really learning to feel and use their bodies in constructive ways. And we was to be guiding that whether I'm because I'm not just talking about just football and soccer, but they could explore all that stuff. But having the jungle gyms and being able to climb and being able to jump. And being able to play that the, the ground is lava and you can't touch and trying to figure out how to do things and how to solve problems using their bodies can really help them. So the diet has gotten healthier, but the question we have to ask is, are our children getting healthier? All right, next one, because I'm boring, Gina. Go ahead, Gina. Queen, El Queen Elizabeth celebrates 70 years on the throne on Sunday. Seven D years. When Elizabeth I, is still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. You know, you sound like you sound like her heirs. Like is she's seventy. God, I mean that's oh that's older than her son. As oh I mean her son is I, I mean it's just ridiculous. I mean it's like she just sitting. I don't even know what she do. But hey, let me stop because they kill mother. British. They'll send double seven out here to get me. But hold on. Go ahead, G. Wait. Satellite. Satellite. Oh, right there. Satellites yeah. have discovered super e emitter emitters around the world. Satellites have discovered super emitters around the world. What are they? Enormous methane leaks from fossil fuel operations in places like Russia, Iran, and the U.S. What is methane? A greenhouse gas that that's more effective than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere. The takeaway cracking down on leaks would be a quick, low-cost way to slow global warming. All right, now for those, you know, I just, so we just had the quick brief. Give Gina G a round of applause, family. Good, good job, Gina. Good job. But you ain't done yet. Your job ain't done. We not done yet. So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Alright, uh, Telegram, y'all need to come on over. Telegram, y'all need to come on over. Telegram, y'all need to come on over. Right? We are live at GNJ.media, live at GNJ.media. I don't know if y'all can hear GNJ. I'm going to go back and listen to it. But hey, here we go, here we go. Um, So right now, family, we are going to go and do and move into the agenda Anime baby, if you could, please, could you get us together? It's the proper 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 time. The proper 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 day, proper of the day. Go ahead and read it, Gina. When your when your opponents are your friends. Wait, let me read it louder. When your opponents are your friends, they must be problems ahead. So you heard it. And the only question is, what does it mean to you? It's All right, proverb of the day. Proverb of the day. by Gina G. Proverb You're writing prop. When your enemies. No, when your opponent. It could be enemies too. When your opponents are your friends. There must be problems ahead. I feel like 
All right. Boom. All right, cool. So now, Anime Baby, if you could, could you go on and cue Miss Gina G up for her next segment? What is it? Oh, folk tales. Folk tales grown for all oh, folk tale time. Folk tale time. This one is a little bit long, but here you go, Gina G. Folk tale of the day is called The Gnat and the Lion. Yeah, The Gnat and the Lion. Go ahead. A gnat came and said to, the, to a lion, I do not. I do not in the least of fear. You nor you, or you nor are you stronger than I am. For Read in up, talk what, about For in what does and bite with your teeth and a woman in her Spell the word. Q U A R R E L S. What? Quarrels. And a woman in her quarrels. I will repeat that I am altogether more powerful than you. And if you if you doubt it, let us fight and see who. Con Con Conquers. And see who will conquer. The gnat having sounded his horn fast fastened his <laughs> him when to try to crash crush him the lion tore himself with his claws until he pushes pushes himself securely the that that's prevail prevail over the short the shortly afterwards he came uh entangled entangled in the meshes, mesh, meshes. Yeah, meshes. Me, meshes. Meshes. Of a cobweb and was eaten by a spider. He gently. Lama, Latima, uh, he greatly lamented. He greatly. That means he cried. <laughs> he greatly lamented. His fake saying, woo. Whoa! Whoa! Is me. Is me. That I, I who can rage war successfully with the hugest beats. Hugest. Hugest beats should per perish. Perish. Perish him myself from the this spider, the most incredible. Uh, Inconsiderable. Inconsiderable of insects. All right, cool. That's the proverb of the day. Proverb of the day. I mean, folk tell of the day. Now, nah, hold on. I'm going to read it again for y'all. For those that didn't catch the title, the title is The Gnat and the Ant. Now, here we go. Here we go. The Gnat came and said to the lion, I do not in the least fear you, nor are you stronger than I am. For in what does your strength consist? You can scratch with your claws and bite with your teeth and a woman in her quarrels. I repeat that I am altogether more powerful than you. And if you doubt it, let us fight and see who will conquer. The gnat having sounded his horn. Fastened himself upon the lion and stung him on the nostrils and in parts of the face devoid of hair. While trying to crush him, the lion tore himself with his claws until he punished himself severely. The gnat thus prevailed over the lion and buzzing about in a song of triumph, I am the champion, I am the champion, I flew away. But shortly afterwards he became entangled in the meshes of a cob and was eaten by a spider. He greatly lamented his fate saying, whoa, 
is me. That I who can wage war successfully with the hugest beast should perish myself from this spider, the most inconsiderable of insects. That is the that is the folktale family. Get the message. Get the message. And what is it? That's a writing prompt. Now we're on. Folktale. That's right, folktale. Folk folk yeah, man, we did it. We did it. We did it, G. We almost do. So now. Here we go, here we go, family. Today we are hitting on the rant. The rant. So, uh, anime, if you could get stuff ready for me, please. Anime, baby. Baby, if you could, please. Is everything together? You getting it together for me? Come on now. I need your help. There we go. We got the war hard signing. We got the war signing. Come on, I can get my theme music. Thinking all, yeah, goddamn, I'm thinking all the time. That's what I do. I got to think. I got to think. So here we go. Now, so I'm thinking last night about the show, and I was able to do a lot of pre-writing. I did a lot of pre-writing last night because I was sitting in front of my computer, and I felt energetic. I said, let me go and do some stuff, you know, and then I found out the school was closed again. So I said, okay, cool. Let me go and work on my lesson for today, get the pictures together and stuff like that so that next year I'll be able to come back and I'll be able to do these unless I got, unless I'm going to continue. But anyway, how to move with Nia to conquer, Nia and conquer, and he go, where did that come from? That actually came from the proverb of the day as well as the folk tale for the day. What do you mean, Brother I Tim? Right? So if you, if you are a member of uh, of of our email list. The proverb for the day, and you know, I'm not going to make a habit of this. A man does not run among thorns for no reason. Either he is chasing a snake, or a snake is chasing him. A man does not run in thorns without a purpose, without a reason. Purpose, reason. You know what I'm saying? It's interchangeable, right? And it's like. We have a lot of people in life, running in life, running in the thorn bush of life without a reason. They don't know why they're in a, you know what I'm saying? They don't know whether they're chasing the snake or the chase, snake is chasing them, whether the lion is chasing them or they're chasing the lion. They don't know, right? And the way that we are able to conquer any goal is by knowing what our purpose is, knowing what our reason is, understanding it. And you heard the folktale. The folktale was about a gnat that had an idea, had a reason, it had a big dream. And it was able to go out and conquer that dream. But because it got caught up in the victory of the dream, because it did it, 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 it conquered the lion. It, it, beat the, it beat the bricks off the lion. It, it, it forgot that it still had to exist in the world as a gnat. And it forgot its enemies. And because it forgot who it was, it ended up getting caught. But it still does not detract from the fact that the gnat was able to do what it set out to do. The gnat had a specific purpose. It had a reason. It wanted to prove something. Not only to the lion, but also to itself. And it made itself feel good. And a lot of times we get caught up in our small little victories and start singing and forgetting where we are forgetting who we are right so i want to make sure that i leave you with the tools today so that you will be able to do what you need to do so that you could become who you want to become and so that you could conquer your goals because i need you to be successful because if you're not successful it's hard for me to be successful if we are in the same tribe because we got to lay the foundation for our children's future success. We have to demonstrate success for them. We have to demonstrate success for them. Let me say that, man. Let me say that one more time. Let me turn the recorder off. I want to turn the recorder off. Let me stop recording. We have to demonstrate success for them. Where else they going to get it? They're going to get it on TV watching other people? Or they're going to get it from us as a tribe? They're going to get it directly from who is around them? Come on, family. But anyway, let's go into it. 
how to move with near and conquer any goal. A person with a goal and a plan, and listen to this, is far more dangerous than the strongest man in the world. A person, Gene, I need you to hear this. This is for you. A person with a goal and a plan is far more dangerous than, a, than the strongest man in the world. A man with no plan is only as strong as his plan allows him to be. So if you have no plan, then the plan that you have does not allow you to be strong. A man is only as strong as the plan allows them to be. A lot of people are used to being pushed around by a lot of us. We're so used to being pushed and allowing other people to push us, allow other people to. And when I say push, I want you to understand this. A lot of us think that it's just about intimidation direct intimidation but it's not about that many of you are existing in careers now because you were pushed by society into these careers because you was told this is what you were supposed to do we've been talking about this all week i mean this is a common this is a common thread this is a common thread theme that runs through what we're talking about it's it's it's, it's crazy that many people don't even realize that they are being pushed by society, being pushed around by society. Because they have to do something that they hate every day. They don't, you know, we get so used to it that we don't think that that's what's happening, but that's exactly what's happening. They end up getting pushed around by everyone else. What can you do if you want to become stronger and more powerful? Of course, in Giamma, we talk about tribing up, right? Because when you out here operating as an individual, guess what? You pray. When you out here by yourself, you pray. I want you to look at all the successful people that's around you that's telling you that they built up the success by themselves. They're lying to you, family. They're lying to you. They got teams. I want you to look at all these motivational speakers. Every last one of them got teams. Where your team at? Right? We're your team for success. We're your team on the job. We're your team in your business. We're the team in your tribe. Purpose moves mountain. Let us look at three ways you can move with purpose starting today. Decide what it is that you want and why is important to you. Decide what it is you want. That gnat decided what he wanted. Even though it ended bad for the gnat, the gnat decided what he wanted. I'm going to prove to this line that I could be him. Why is it important? It was important for the gnat. It was important for him to be able to prove to himself and to prove that as gnats, we do have capabilities that are very powerful if we use them properly. Decide what it is that you want and why it's important to you. Come on now. Is that too hard? That's why we got this. That's why we got this. You know what I'm saying? This is why we got. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to help you, but I can't fill it out for you. Decide on what it is you want and why it's important to you. Writing prompt, right there. Start taking action towards the goal without worrying about the, about the step by step process. You see, a lot of us, we want, we want the magical step by step process to emerge for us, and we could be like step one, like it's a recipe. But even those of you that even work with recipes, you know that they don't work like that all the time. You might. Be missing something, and you might have to substitute something. Or it's a whole bunch of things that could go wrong. But with many of you that cook with recipes with step by steps, don't follow the step by steps. So those of you that's waiting around for this magical step by step process to pop up for you, it's not gonna pop up. Family and I, this week we're moving through blind. We can use other people's examples and other people's lessons, but this is why I say pack up on these folk tales, pack up on these proverbs so that you can start being able to use them because you'll run into stuff that will hit a problem. I'm trying to tell you it happens all the time with me. I run into something. I run into something, and a proverb will pop up. I mean, one of the most useful proverbs that I have ever had is, those who are not willing to sacrifice will not be fulfilled. I run into it all the time. I run into it all the time. I run into it all the time. And I'm able to say the proverb and it reminds me of what I'm supposed to be doing rather than being concerned about the other people. Number two, we talked about this one earlier this week. Start 
taking action toward the goal without worrying about the step-by-step -step process. We just went through that. Number three, set aside all excuses and objections so that nothing will prevent you from achieving your goal. Get rid of your excuses, family. Because excuses get you to, into the future thinking. What are you doing right now to move towards your goal? You know what I'm saying? Get through your objections. Right? Do they really make sense? Are they are your objections real? Or are they things that have been imagined by you? Or are they things that's been given to you by other people? You need to go on and learn how to get them out the way. So that nothing will prevent you from achieving your goal. Now, here you go. Here's a major question. Are you willing to give yourself up to a thousand hours of commitment over the next few years? Now, actually, ten thousand hours bring you to expertise, but a thousand, ten thousand brings you to the master level. But a thousand hours brings you to um, what is it called? It's not master, but you you're proficient. After you do something for a thousand hours, you are proficient. You're not a master. You can't do it while you sleep. But you are proficient at doing it. You're better than a majority. Right? That thousand hours puts you in the top 85% at least. Because everybody else done fell off. I need you to understand that. Right? Are you willing to give yourself up to a thousand hours of commitment over the next few hours? And, Giamma, I mean, we talking about um, the hashtag 224 self-help process. Are you willing to dedicate two hours a day? two hours a day um, on what it is that you want to master, on your skill, on yourself, um, on your people. Now, what's two, two hours per day, 365, two times 365. And I'll tell you, once you get up to two hours, four hours is, 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 a simple, is a simple bump. But if you do two times 365, if we just take two times 300, that's 600. We do two times 60. That's 120, so that's 720 right there, plus 10, that's uh, what, uh, 720, 730, almost 730 hours per year. So in one year, you are at the prof you, you're moving towards prof proficiency level. Come on now. Some of y'all be talking about things that you want, things that you want to master. You talk about the goals you want to achieve, but you're not using your near. You're not getting in there. You're not getting. You're not getting that focus. You're not getting that aim. And you're not spending that time. Come on now. So here we go. Um, here are some questions to wrestle with, especially for those of you that are on the Google Saba Challenge. Questions. Here go the questions. What are three simple things that you can do to start moving with more purpose? What are three things that you could do every day in your life? To start moving with purpose. Moving with Nia. Say, I mean, and I'm and I want y'all, because I'm saying purpose now because there's gonna be some people that might not be as familiar with the Goose Samba Challenge. Right? Or being uh, familiar with Goose Samba. But Nia means so much more than just, just purpose. Purpose falls short of what Nia actually is. So let me say it right. What are the three simple things you can do to start moving with more near near is a force what can you do what three things can you add on a daily basis in your 224 self-help process start with two minutes a day move to 20 minutes a day then move to 60 minutes a day then move to uh then, then move then move to 80 minutes a day you know what i'm saying you you do a step by step but what three things can you do are there three things that you can do that can get you moving towards being able to focus on your thing? I got so many people around me that be asking for assistance, but they don't spend the time necessary in order to be able to be good at what they need to do. What are you going to do this week to move closer to where you want to be? What are you going to do this week? To move closer to where you want to be. Stop talking about it. Be about it. Writing prompt. What are you going to do this week? To move closer to where you want to be. This is why you got to set up your mindsets. Right, Jeremy? You know I mean? This is why we setting up mindsets. Right? You got the accountability. You got the accountability coach. You got the self-mastery coach that's that's in charge of the accountability. That makes sure that on in that week, 
you are they question you about what you're supposed to accomplish take a note of it and are able to come back and double check what you said you were supposed to be able to do we got to start being able to hold ourselves accountable family and we got to start allowing being in our tribes and allowing us to be held accountable a lot of us are so used to this i'm grown bullshit that we forget we forget that we have responsibilities. Like I said, as my, my group and those that are right below me and those that are right below them, it's our job in our generation, in our peer group, to be able to push shit out the way so that each generation that come from, from behind us should be able to gain something from the work that we did. If this is not what's happening, if we are not moving them forward, then what the hell are you living for? Why are you here? No, I'm here for me. Uh, you know, all right, cool. You in the wrong place. You need to move your ass on to where you need to be. That's all I got to say. That's, I mean, I'm and, and um, what is next? What is your goal right now? How are you currently working to achieve it? I don't even need to say no more on that one. I won't. What do you want? Why is it important to you? The why. What do you want and why? What's the why? Ooh, why? Purpose. Reason. Purpose. See, it, it, they are the why. Right? You keep on hearing this. But what's your why? What do you want and why? Writing prompt. Hit it. What are your biggest obstacles right now? What are the biggest things that are standing in your way? right now and to get you to move that's that, that stopping you from moving and how can you get your tribe to exist you to assist you in getting over that family 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 um i'm well into the i'm well over the 10 minutes i forgot to set the clock but anime if you could baby please thank you very much baby thank you um and um if you could could you play my theme music? And as we say in Giamme, <laughs> class dismissed. Now get the hell up out of my classroom. I don't know why y'all sitting around here. You know what I'm saying? So right now, family, I'm going to give you a couple minutes. Get yourself, not even a couple of seconds, get yourself together. Um, and um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to do some house minute housekeeping. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Ooh. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. You lose your power. You lose your power. If it is to be. If it is to be. It's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. I feel good about, myself. Myself. I feel you know good about go, the people around me. I feel good. Couldn't do the fancy um, switch for um, me and Jenny G about to toast up. Where is my my corral fat? I'm fall. Is it corral? Huh? 
What? Well, actually, Mama Ziza told me it's something else. I got to call her back to get what it is again. All right. So we about to toast the moment, family. This is what we do here. Um, for those of you that want to get your ancestors on the daily toast ritual list, hit us up at um, first. You got to get on the email list. I'm just making it simple. I ain't checking all that. Get on the email list, right? How do you get on email list? Go to gnja.media. You click it, it bring you over so that you can go on and get on the email list, or you go to giamijourney.com and the email list is over there as well. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't find it, then you inbox us on some other stuff, and we'll send you a link where we can get you on our email list. We're trying to build up our email list. We want to get it up to a thousand. I want to get up to a thousand to fifteen hundred people, right, on our email list. So go and hit us up so that we go and hit you with this goodness every morning. We're hitting people up with good, thought-provoking writing prompts for those of you, especially those of you that's taking the um, Giami Journey. Um, Challenge. I mean, uh, um, and Guz Saba challenge. So go and get with us, so we can build, family. We need to use our, our culture so that we can build. So here we go. We're gonna lift up our glass. We lifting up our glass to the Creator by whatever name you choose. Call it Creator. We lift up the glass and we say, "Come on now." We say, "I say." Thank you. Thank you, Adam May. Move from there. And we move from our creator to our ancestors. We lift up our glass and we say, I say. For those that don't know, we toast our ancestors every morning at 5.45 a.m. 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Catch us how you catch us. Come over to the Spreaker. Come over to the Spreaker site. You know you know where to catch us. Once you link in on that Spreaker, put us on the RSS, you get alarm every time we go off. Or if you're in the group. So, uh, so we salute those ancestors and we say, I say. Once again, now we move to the present moment. We are in the present moment right now. We are in the moment of what's the day? Yellow. So Nia. okay, damn. All right, Nia. That's right, Nia. Right, um, Nia. We want to lift up our glass. We want to toast um, this moment of Nia. I ask you every day, as I well, as I ask you every day, I want you to open up your reticular formation and seek out Nia. Right, go out there and get it, catch it, run it down, share it, talk about it, be about it, right, and use it to go on and conquer and 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 to I mean to, to do the best that you can every day. So Nia, for those who don't speak the language, Nia means purpose. Um, the modic principle for the day is balance. The color is yellow. For those of you that want to support Giyame, you go and you get our merch. Go to merch.gnj.media and get your daily toaster shirt. Rhythm is the Hermetic law for the, the my fault the hermetic principle for the day male name is Kofi female name is a four We're lifting up our glass and we say Ashe. From there we move to our children our children's children on to infinity we lift up our glass We toast them in advance so they can toast us when it's our time we lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Right there yeah and from near family, we're going to lift up our glass for all those that are uh, needing that balanced healing energy. We want to lift up those family members, those tribe members that are in need of it. And you can get us their name the same way that you get us your ancestors' name. Once you get on the email list and you confirm that you are willing to accept the emails from us, you will... Um, you'll be able to start corresponding with us. And then you could let us know about your ancestors as well as people you want us to add to the list. So we lifting up our glass. I'm going to call out um, Brother Kwesi Lo Kenyatta. I'm going to call out Brother, um, um, with my fault, Elder Tony West. I'm going to call out um, Elder uh, Debbie Bowie. Uh, and I also want to lift up a glass and toast all of the support networks. We lift up our glass and we say what, G? Ah, uh, shit. Go ahead. Come on, anime. Where you at, anime? Thank you very much. Last but not least, family. We started with the creator. We end with the creator. And we say, Ashe. 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 Family. I wish you peace, power, joy, and... 100 years. 100 years. And we saying, Giami, can't end because this is our thing. And, of course, you know, too black. Too strong. What? I ain't know what. We up and we are.
out, family. Who DJ? Are they Scobies? You know, I don't think of no Scobies in where. I don't know what those are. That might be a dirty glass. Um, who who D? Oh, anime. Okay, we keep it. All right, we gonna keep it normal. No, 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 anime. Come on, mix it up for me, baby. Come on now. There we go. We need some mix up real quick. There we go. You ain't putting no music on anime. What's going on? You on strike? What's going on?